I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to tame your hamster. So one tip I recommend is letting your hamster free range because it will let your hamster um, get used to the scent of your room or wherever they're being housed and it'll make your hamster a lot more comfortable. Of course, she's an escape artist, so free ranging for her is not the best because um, I don't like letting her free range around my room because, um, I don't know, she's very fast and she does not like being held. She's also an escape artist, so if I let her free range, there's always a chance of losing her. And my room is kind of messy, so I don't see she likes to try to escape. But new hamsters are kind of more, um, they might be a little more calm, depending on um, where in the house you keep your hamster. Um, I kind of have to always like put her in certain places. But yeah, free ranging is a good idea, and you just want to like pet your hamster and kind of get your hamster used to your scent. So another thing you could do is bathtub bonding, and um, I'm basically just going to let you guys like look at her and just watch Cheerio. I've like stuffed some clothes here and there to make sure she can't like get out through the holes, um, but she might be able to anyways. She might like become an escape artist again, but um, bathtub bonding is basically, um, no baby, go back over there. Basically you pull the plug in your bathtub, you put a towel over, you know, the bathtub floor, and then you let your hamster run around the bathtub with you sitting in it. And you can pet your hamster, look at your hamster. Um, oh my gosh, she escaped back there. Hold on. Okay, guys, I got her back. Um, so anyways, yeah, bathtub bonding is a very good way. But you have to be careful because your hamster might get startled and try to eat you. No, not really. I'm just kidding. But they might bite you if depending on the hamster. Um, but if you do bathtub bond with your hamster, you need to make sure that... Um, you know, you clean the tub and stuff just to make sure there's nothing in there that could harm your hamster. So another thing you can do to bond or to um, tame your hamster, when, whenever you want to pick them up, you want to just kind of scoop them up. If you're using one hand, it's always a little more difficult. But I just, um, I don't recommend picking them up like this, unless, you, like I'm doing right now, unless you're going to move them to like another place. But I recommend to scoop your hand underneath them to pick them up and always use two hands if possible um, and you can let your hamster sniff your finger but uh, my hamster will nibble me if I do that so I don't like to let her do that um, and she's like a really 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 kind of um, fast hamster as you can see she's very fast she likes to run around and um, she just likes to run and that's why I don't like free ranging her but it's still kind of possible, just depends. Um, but yeah, she's so cute. But she just is an escape artist. So it's quite hard to do anything with her, basically, that involves free ranging. So the next thing you can do is... <laughs> she's digging. Oh my gosh. Cheerio, you are a ruckus like okay the next thing you can do is whenever you hold them to give them treats um and i recommend holding them with one hand and then give them treats with the other hand and that will um make it so that they will associate you with yummy treats and then that way they'll be like oh okay well this person is nice and this person will give me treats so you can also let your hamster like Put your hamster on your legs and just let them walk around. Make sure you're wearing pants because they could um, scratch you on accident. Um, and that's the importance of keeping wood blocks in their cage so that they can trim down their teeth and nails. But um, basically taming your hamster, it just is, it takes time. Like whenever you first get your hamster, wait like a day or two to hold your hamster. So, um, another thing is, whenever your hamster is free-ranging, you can give them treats and all sorts of different ways to make them trust you. Um, as you can see, Cheerio literally hates being held most of the time. She's quite, um, she basically just likes to find ways to escape from me. So that's the downside of having a hamster that is rambunctious and likes to run everywhere. Okay guys, so I put Cheerio back in her cage because she was acting crazy, so I just decided to just let you guys watch her in her cage. So the last tip I can really give you for taming your hamster is to just every time you go to put water, like go to fill up their water or to give them food, to just um, let them sniff your hand and eventually they will get your scent and they will know, okay, well this person's not going to hurt me or this 
this person's not going to cause me any harm. So that's a really good way that you can tame your hamster. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and leave your tips down in the comments or how you tamed your hamster or how you're working on taming yours. So yeah, thanks guys. Bye!